Now, at some point in our golfing journeys, we will feel like whatever we're working on in our swing or our putting just isn't working. For whatever reason, we'll often turn to a training aid in order to help us improve a certain area of the game. And this is a very saturated market, Dan. There's hundreds and hundreds of training aids out there, but we think we've narrowed it down to our top 10 favorite training aids. We're here at the London Club. We're gonna talk through our favorite training aids in various areas of the game, Dan. So without further ado, let's dive into our top 10 training aids that you can buy right now. So my first pick down in our top 10 training aids is the G-Force 7 Iron Swing Trainer. Uh, as you can see, this is, it looks like a normal 7 Iron. Yeah. But it has a super flexible shaft in it. And the idea behind this is, is multi-dimensional really. It's designed to help key your slice, give you better rhythm, better timing, etc. And I've had a thorough test on this on the driving range yesterday. And obviously it takes a bit of getting used. To. What I love about this club is it really does help your sequencing and a, a bit about your swing plane as well. So if you are snatching at the ball too mm. early with your hands, you won't time it very well, you'll hit poor strikes, you'll hit slices, etc. So it really helps you sequence your body in the correct movement on the way down. So leading with the lower body, letting the arms follow, and also because it's uh, the head, it feels quite head heavy. Obviously, this is quite a light, light shaft. Um, it helps you drop the club more on the inside. Yeah. So if you struggle with the slice, where you're throwing the club head over the top of the swing, um, this will help you get on a more neutral plane. So it, it does have multiple benefits. And what the, I like about this particular club is it has the same weight of a normal club. So that transition from using it on the range and then into a normal seven iron feels quite natural. So yeah. you're able to go between two quite easily. Um, and you saw me yesterday, I was hitting some quite good shots. <laughs> you you were striping them, Straight it down must the be middle. said. You, you sort of took to it pretty quickly, but when you yeah. were really sequencing your swing, you could hear it in the quality of the strike, you could see yeah. it in the quality of the ball flight. And I love that you can hit a ball with it. There's some yeah. there's some of these like lag aids like you can get with- um, Like the orange whip, for example. Yeah, exactly, for your driver, which are great, mm -hmm. and they give you that feeling, but you can't hit a ball with it. It's yeah. great to actually uh, hit a ball with, with one of these aids. 100%, and you get that added benefit of creating a bit more lag in your swing yeah. as well, for a bit more power, because you're using your lower body, so the club is kind of falling behind a bit more. So uh, really good for that, really good for power, timing, sequencing, and you can use it as a warm-up tool as well. So It's uh, got everything, hasn't it? It's got everything. So that's my first one, Dan. But that's all from myself and Dan. We'll see you next time.